Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post all sorts of sewing and crafting tutorials here on YouTube. Today I'm doing a sewing basics video on prairie points. And in the past I had kind of thought prairie points were maybe a little bit lame. Um, but I saw a picture on Flickr where they were used um, on the bottom of a bag and it just looked really cool. So I decided to give prairie points another chance. And so that's what I'll be talking about today. So prairie points are a folded triangle where all the raw edges are on the top. Then when sewn into a project, the raw edges will be hidden into the seam. To make prairie points, you need a square of fabric, preferably cotton, and any size that you want. You can try out different sizes to see what best suits your project. With a hot iron and steam, fold in half on the diagonal with right sides out and press. Then fold in half again and press. And that is a prairie point. If you need several prairie points of the same fabric, you can cut a strip of fabric and then cut it down into squares to make it go faster. You can see prairie points in patchwork piecing like on this bag, along the binding of a quilt or maybe the bottom of an apron or in many other projects. I actually think they would look really cool if they were done along the neckline of a DIY t-shirt like the ruffles shown here. I hope this gets your inspiration going and in my next video I'm going to show you an unusual project using prairie points so you definitely want to subscribe for that and come back for my other tutorials and I will see you all again soon. Bye!